Here's a last minute gift idea. Hey y'all, I hope you're doing well. So if you guys remember, not too long ago, I went to the Dollar General and I picked up a few items to make last minute gifts. So I got this yarn here, but you'll also need like a 5.5 millimeter or six millimeter, which is a crochet hook, I or J, any kind of cotton yarn. I got mine again from the Dollar General and a yarn needle would be helpful. So th again, this is the Re-Up yarn from Lion Brand. Now this is just a regular recycled cotton four weight yarn, but any kind of cotton yarn that's four weight would work for this project. Knowing how to do a single crochet half double crochet stitch and a double crochet stitch would be helpful but I'll show you how to do those in this tutorial so let's go ahead and get started start by going ahead and making yourself a slip knot and placing that on your foundation on your hook and again I'm using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook that I actually got from my Dollar Tree so it worked up really well this was a very inexpensive project to create okay once you have your um, your slip knot placed on your crochet hook, go ahead and make yourself a foundation chain of 21. Now this is the place where you would want to change it up a bit if you want your washcloth or dishcloth to be um, wider. So I'm doing 21 inches and I'll put the final count, the measurement in my description box down below. I just don't have a measuring tape with me right now. But go ahead and do a chain of 21, yarning over, pulling through, just keep working. So again, yarning over is just wrapping the yarn around the crochet hook and then just pulling it through the stitch. If you have any issues with, if this is going way too fast, guys, please check my channel. I do have videos that take these beginning stitches a lot slower, okay? So just continue working until you get a chain of 21. Once you have your foundation chain completed in that second stitch from the hook, so not the one where your crochet hook is, but the one right next to it, go ahead and make your first single crochet stitch. And I'll show you how to do that slower here. So just pull your yarn apart, um, stitch apart a little bit so you can see where you're gonna place your crochet hook. Insert your crochet hook and pull through, yarn over and pull through both loops that are left on your hook. I'm gonna show you again, okay guys? So don't yarn over, just put your yarn, put your crochet hook straight through the next stitch. If you give it a tug, you can kind of see that stitch a little easier. You're going to yarn over and then pull back through. My yarn naturally goes in the right spot, so I don't actually do an actual yarn over. But if it's not there, make sure you wrap your crochet hook, your yarn around your crochet hook before you pull it back through. I hope that makes sense. Insert your crochet hook, yarn over like that, pull through, yarn over, pull through the bottom two, okay? You're gonna do a row of single crochet stitches all the way down the foundation chain. Okay, so just keep working. You should have a total of 20 when you're complete. So once you have a completed foundation row, which is just a row of single crochet stitches, go ahead and give it a little count. And you can see here, I turned it to the side and I'm counting it easier. You should have a total of 20. Okay, just like that. Now that's how we're gonna start this project. Go ahead and do a chain of two. Okay, turn your work. And now we're just going to do half double crochet stitches all the way down the second row. Now that chain of two that we completed, I am gonna make that my first stitch of this row. So you're going to go into the next available stitch and you're going to create a half double crochet stitch. Okay? So basically, you're just going to yarn over, insert, insert your crochet hook into the next available stitch, yarn over again, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. So that's a little bit different than our single crochet stitch that we just created in the previous row, but I think you can get it if you just kind of follow along with the screen here. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the bottom three. Okay, just keep working.
Okay. Once you have your final um, stitch completed, make sure you put a half double crochet stitch into that foundation chain that we, not foundation chain, but that chain of two that we created. And there you go. You should have a total of 20 crochet stitches. Chain three. Okay. Now that chain of three is gonna count as your first double crochet stitch. So in your next available space, not where the chain of three is, you're going to complete a double crochet stitch. Okay, so again, yarn over, insert your crochet hook into the next available space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the bottom two. Okay, now if you don't know how to do a double crochet stitch, again, I do have a tutorial on my channel that goes a little bit slower, but I'm hoping you can catch on here or slow down the video. Just keep working. Okay, so you should have gotten a complete row of double crochet stitches, making sure that you do get a final double crochet stitch in that chain of three at the very end of the row. You should have a total of 20 double crochet stitches. Now guys, this is gonna be a simple project in that all you're gonna do at this point is you're gonna alternate between half double crochet row and a double crochet row until you get to the desired length or height for your dishcloth, okay? So basically we've done, we started with a row of single crochet stitches, we're gonna do a row, we did a row of half double crochet, we did a row of double crochet, and now we're alternating back to a half double crochet row. So I'll just show you here to get you started, but essentially that is the pattern for the dishcloth, very easy peasy. If you don't wanna alternate, that's okay too. These are just dishcloths, they're very convenient, they are absolute perfect, um, last minute gift ideal, home warming ideal, and um, I got these really cute ornaments that go perfectly with the theme for these. So um, if you haven't checked out your local Dollar Tree, if it's not too late, go ahead and look there and see if you can find some really cool ornaments to pair with these dishcloths. But anyway, just keep working, have double crochet all the way down the row, then you're going to chain three, and then go to a double crochet row. So I hope that makes sense. You're just alternating at this point between a half double crochet row and a double crochet row until you get to the end. Now, really quickly, I do wanna tell you, I ended off my row with a row of single crochet stitches. That way it mimicked the beginning of my project. So the very last row, I did a row of single crochet stitches to finish it off, and then that was it. Once you're done, you're gonna take your tail in and you're just gonna weave it back through. In my case, I had the same color yarn, so it was very easy for me to hide my, my crochet, my crochet, my tail, but that's all I'm doing. I'm going to just weave everything through and then I'm going to cut, and then I'm gonna get ready to package it up for a nice little cute, simple, last minute gift I do, okay? Just like that. So I made three, one skein would make two, dishcloths in this size that I created quite easily. I used three per little gift bundle because it felt a little fuller and it looked really nice together. So there you see I have two, but I actually went in and made another um, tan one so that it kind of nicely sandwiched in that purple one and added that pop of color. And if you have any other color cotton yarn, you can switch it up some. So this is my quick little gift idea for you guys. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. Any questions, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.